Okay, I got my brother's Bible here for you. Is this is King James your brother? Always, brother. Okay, I can't, there's King James version there. The black man. And so what's happening here is that we got the Isaiah, the 65th chapter of Isaiah here that we kept talking about them and uh, quoting. And these are a couple of verses that we want to bring to you brothers' minds here before the house of God. And there's the people that you see in front of us. These are the people that's fulfilling the actual scripture. It says, I am sought of them that ask not of me. I am found of them that sought me not. I say, behold, behold, unto a nation that was not called by my name. Now, I'm bearing witness here that the people you see before me is that nation and are those people. And the people that you see before you doesn't go by the name of Israel. And they don't call on the name of Jehovah. They say Hashem. And they call themselves Jews. But they have sought and they have found God here at the house of God. But now let's continue on here. And let's consider now this prophecy in connection with our people that we call the children of Israel. It says, I have stretched out my hands all the day long unto a rebellious people which walk in a way that is not good after their own thoughts. A people that provoke me to anger continuously to, to my face, that sacrifice in gardens. Now, we've been, these people come up here to the house of God, and they're bringing the baskets and the sheaves, and, but our people, they're still in this same land. When I was here for Passover, you had Jewish people here with land, National Park. But we have brothers in this land that was in a national park in Ascalon, or that was in a, a park somewhere, in a garden somewhere, sacrificing the Passover the Holy Day. But we've been calling our people to come here. They have refused. And then let me continue. It says, a people that provoke me to anger continuously to my faith, that sacrifice in God, that burn incense upon altars of bricks, which remains among the graves and lodged in the memorials. Here in Israel, here in Israel, a, a lot of the people and some of our people, when, when they, in the holy days, they would go to visit the graves of the righteous, rather than to come to the house of God. It says, which eats swine's flesh, and bought abominable things in vessels. You know, of course, we know our people in America, many of them, our, our, our families are still eating swine's flesh. We say, stand, not, stand by me, stand by thyself, come not near me, for I am holier than thou. So they, 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 they look at themselves as if they have it all, they have all the answers, so this is why they don't want any more information. These are smoke in my, my nose, and fire in my bosom. Behold, as it is written before me, I will not keep silent, but will recompense, even recompense into their bosom your iniquity and the iniquities of your fathers together. So now this is a situation now that's not just talking about us. It's talking about the forefathers that came before us. But that gets really deep. Which have burned incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills. Therefore, will I measure their former work into their bosom. Now it gets very, very serious here, brother. It says, Thus says Yahweh, or Jehovah, some brothers might say, as a new wine is found in a cluster, and one says, Destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servant that I may not destroy them all. Uh-oh. This sounds like a death decree, but not for all of it. And I will bring a seed out of Jacob, and out of Judah, an inheritor of my holy mountain. And my elect shall inherit it, we put in our, here you see here, 
the redemption. We went in the Jubilee year and we redeemed the land. And the first thing, the place that we put in redemption for in the court case we have in January is coming up. First place is the Jew is here what they call Telara. The house of God. And we had to redeem. In fulfillment of this scripture. And my elect shall inherit it. And my servants shall dwell there. When I first came here to Israel and I lived here, this is the first place I lived here in Israel as a watchman. I'm going to show you the area right here. And the caravans on the other side. It says, Sharon shall be a fold of flock. And the valley of Acre, a place for the herds to lie down, for my people that have sought me. When you go through the border of Judah, you will see that Sharon and the valley of Acre is right down at the, at the border of Judah by the sea. In the videos that we have on, on my Facebook page, you can see the actual heap that we found of a car in that valley. It says, But ye that have forsaken Jah, that forgot my holy mountain, that prepare a table for their truth, that furnish a drink offering for that number. Now these are the people that we are calling to this place, and they continue to refuse to come. There's going to be a line drawn in the sand. Part of Israel is going to stand and say, no, we will not return to Zion. Part of Israel will stand and say, yes, we will come up to Zion. And it says here, it says, but prepare, they prepare a table for their troop, that furnish a drink offering for their number. So therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall bow down to the slaughter. This is the key part in the scripture. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spoke, ye did not hear, but did choose before.